so here is a arm jtag adapter so we will be using this arm jtag adapter uh, to program our microcontroller and in this case we will be using this uh, this kit uh, this kit has a lpc1768 microcontroller which is, which belongs to arm cortex m3 core so we just leave this kit for this video uh, we will discuss more about this in the future videos yeah in, in the future tutorials so uh, let's come back to the point we will be using this as you can see here, adapter. Uh, this power LED is uh, light up and we have this blue LED has been light up so that means we have successfully connected this uh, arm JTAC adapter to the computer and now we what we have to do is we have to install the plugins and the drivers so that we will successfully um, you make use of this arm jtag adapter to program our lpc1768 microcontroller so one by one and step by step i will show you where to get this drivers and where to get this drivers and the plugins and then we will going to install basically this arm jtag adapter has a cooling text drivers and i believe you already have installed kyle microvision 4 and you have uh, already uh, connected your arm jtag programmer which is the cooling text jtag adapter already have connected to your laptop so let me first show you where to get this uh, drivers and the plugins so just open your web browser once you open your browser just search for kukox and you can see this link kukox free open arm so hit on this link and you will browse through this uh, official website and you just have to look for hardware and in this hardware you have to look for cooling x section and hit on read more and as you click read more you will get this uh, wikipedia button you have to click on this button and as you can see here is a complete user manual that you can use it for your reference but what we are interested in this um, uh, in this um, in this video is we have to look for where to get the software and if you come to this page you will see that You can have this 4.1.2 install the driver of calling X so you have to hit on this link given down below and uh, you have the software section and you just have to simply click on uh, this calling X USB driver and calling X plugin for Kyle because we already have Kyle installed so we have to install this one and this one plugin you just have to hit on this uh, individual link and you will start to download this uh, uh, this uh, plugins and the drivers in your computer so to save a little bit of time I already have installed those uh, I already have downloaded this uh, both of the softwares Colink X um, USB driver and CoMDK plugin so one by one I will show you how to install those uh, plugins so first we have to install this co mdk plugin so double click on that and hit on yes click on next if you're happy with this location then click on next and then hit on install and it's pretty fast it may take a few seconds i hope okay it's done so hit on finish and now it's time to install calling x usb driver so double click on that and hit on yes then click on next next install And that's it you have done with that so hit on finish and close everything else now I want to show you that how you can make sure that your connections for your uh, arm JTAG programmer and debugger has successfully done 
So you just have to go to my computer, I mean the computer, and then right click on that and go to manage. It may take a couple of minutes because I think this is uh, quite a vital area of a computer, so it may take a time. And go to device manager. And as you can see, there are some options will pop up. And uh, now go to the ports, this, this ports and LPD. And you can see here is a Kukox com. 16 so if you look at the properties you can see that the device is working properly that means you have successfully installed this uh, drivers and plugins and you have completely configured everything that it's needed for Kyle Microvision 4 to uh, write the code for LPC 176 set in the next couple of videos we will be walking how to configure a project with Kyle Microvision 4 and we will be write a small little program to blink LED. I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining. If you really like it, this video then please consider for subscribe and like. Thank you very much. Have a great time.